You know what? I've seen that the Roblox community have been slacking with some low poly builds. Oh my goodness, look at all these low poly builds. Oh gosh. Okay, let's build one. Let's get one building. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will be making this outstanding low poly showcase. Here you can see the trees, the leaves, the stones and the different colors. I will be teaching on how to color them, import them and make them. Now to get started, we can import a cone. Shift, you can click Shift A then select cone. You can select the vertices of the cone to 12, just like that. Press I to intrude, just like that. Now I'm going to scale it towards the x-axis, S, X, 0, and then S, Y, 0. So now it's uh, one word to see, just like that. Now I will be pressing M and selecting by distance. All right, now I will be selecting all of the vertices. Go to select and then choose checker deselect. I'm going to be, then you can press G and Z to move them down a bit. And there you have our first, uh, first so start of our low poly tree. Now you can duplicate it, move it down, scale it up a bit, scale it down a bit. You can duplicate it one more time. Just like that. You can scale it up, scale it down. Now you can duplicate it one more time. You can scale it up, scale it down. Just like that. And here you have our leaves. Now we can make the branch. So I will be made taking a cylinder and putting 12 vertices on this one as well. Now you can scale it down to the size that you would like, just like that. You can move it to the middle, just like so. Now you can move up the bottom face and extrude it, then scale it, just so it fits. Now you can create another tree by duplicating this one, going into the individual origins and now scaling it down a bit, just like that. Now the leaves and the branch, or the, now the leaves are a different shape, just like so. And there we have our two trees. Now let's make some rocks. In order to make them, you're going to be pressing Shift A and selecting Icosphere. Then you can add a modifier, a decimate modifier. Then you can undecimate. You can collapse them, but you can change the ratio of it. And you can duplicate the one that you have made. And then you can apply the decimate modifier again. Just like that. There we have our two, two stones. And now we are going to be making a leaf. So let's say import a plane, move it around. Now you can make some loop cuts by hitting Control R. Then you can move your mouse, mouse, uh, middle mouse button, just like so. Now you can scale them uh, to the shape of a leaf. So using proportional, I'm using proportional editing, which you can enable by pressing O. Now you just select the vertices, you scale it up a bit, scale it down a bit, just like that. Now for leaves, I will be scaling it from the down as well, just like so, so it gets a better shape. Uh, like that, yeah, that works. Now I can move those down a bit. Just like, uh, just like that. Yeah, that looks much better. All right, now I will be adding the solidify modifier. You can go ahead and apply this. I'm going to be pressing N and then flipping those faces. Now, in order to make uh, uh, something in the middle, you can use bevel. Then you can set the segments to 2, just like that. Now you can bevel it a bit. Now you can go to edge select mode or line select mode, I would say. And then you can move them down. If you want, then you can also curve your leaf a bit. Just like so. We use proportional editing and then you can curve it a bit. Alrighty, after the leaf, I will be making a bit of a ramp, let's say. Yeah, like a bump. So I'll be subdividing a plane, just like that. 
then I can select the vertices then use proportional editing and move it up just like that so it creates a little bump then I can apply a solidify modifier just like so and now we can select everything then go into file and press export as FBX then you can select the name you want and click as selected objects and then export then you will go over to Roblox Studio and go to the new mesh importer which you can enable in beta features now you're going to find your file I've named mine as low poly showcases there we go now you can select the file then you can open it and here you will see your model then you can go ahead and click import all right and once it has imported you can scale it down a bit there we go now you can ungroup them and here you have it now you can color each individual item so you can take your tree you can color it however you like i will be going for a bit darker green here yeah, bright green and for this one I'll be selecting a darker color and after you have colored your items you can group them now you can start your showcase so I'll put a tree here I can scale a tree down and put one right there and now you can basically experiment There we have it guys, there's how you create your own little showcase. If you want then you can go ahead and like and subscribe this video and I will see you for many more.